Hello, hello, hello. Today is August 17th, 2024. You got a nice little preview of my slippers there in the beginning, maybe. But um, yesterday morning, I woke up and immediately was on sort of the back foot in my mind as I thought I had done something wrong. Um, I woke up and my bedroom door was being slammed. Like I woke up to the noise and I thought, did I do something wrong? Did I did I say something in my sleep to someone that offended them or anything like that? And the evening before, I was tasked with slicing a boatload of bread. And, you know, I don't normally do that. It's not normally what's required. But we had this massive catering order and we needed to pre-slice the bread to make it easier. And I was doing it poorly. Um, I guess I'm not the best bread slicer, but, you know, would my coworkers look down on me? That's sort of where my brain was automatically going. It's like, am I the worst? Am I the worst employee here? And these are recent examples of catastrophizing, which is a bit of a tongue twister. And you can tell by the title that I don't think we should do it. You know, these are events that don't go well or events that you think might not go well. And the next thing you know, you're telling yourself horrible things. Like I had said, am I the worst coworker? Did I do something wrong? And it's definitely not something you want to start your day off with. Because it's just like, man, I feel like crap. And I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. And I will say, I do think we have been conditioned to catastrophize a bit more frequently nowadays. You know, narratives run rampant and like... I think a, an all right example is a uh, recent example is the Mpox. You know, the first case outside of Africa was just confirmed and people are already jumping to conclusions like, you know, you can fill in the gaps there. I'm sorry, I'm tired. But if you follow sports, you, you probably know about catastrophizing because when a player has one bad game, one bad performance, you know, it's time to call it quits on their career, at least that's what the pundits, you know, like heavily implicate. But at any rate, I think it's quite obvious we should fight against catastrophizing. Whether it's a kind of like vestigial mental trait left over from the caveman days, you know, any sudden noise outside could kill you. Like, you know, you're in the dark and you hear a twig snap and you're just a caveman. You know what I'm saying? Or some mixture of insecurity and anxiety, which is probably the case for me. It's not a stretch to say falling into these habits is not good. Um, you know, not a whole lot m new can be said by me here. So I'm just going to kind of share how I've been thinking about it recently. Because I finally realized it's something I do regularly, like way too much. And I'm glad I've finally recognized it. You know, I've, I can finally, like, put my finger on it. And so when it starts to happen, you know, I imagine myself in reality. With the problem, the emotional or mental state, in my hands. And I've been using just, like, a bundle of sticks. You know, something objective that does like doesn't have any emotional attachment to me. Because lots of items do these days, but... You know, I place it down and I walk away from it. I don't need to give it any more attention. So yeah, that's where I've been with it. And recently there was one where I was like, maybe I'll walk back towards it and give it some more attention. But um, yeah, that's sort of been my attempted solution. I, I do think that catastrophizing stems from insecurity and anxiety. <clears throat> I was reading up on it more, and it does say that people that have experienced trauma tend to catastrophize, which makes perfect sense. So many of us have experienced some sort of emotional trauma or physical trauma, which is, it's almost like a PTSD materialized within the brain. You know, it's like the the adverb of PTSD. So, yeah, it's really important to recognize if you do it because 
going throughout your day and just, you know, having instances where at some moments it's like the end of the world. It's just, it's just not good. So, um, yeah, I hope, I hope like just calling it to attention could help in any sort of way. For some reason, I'm really out of breath right now, but anyways, I'm about to head off to work. And uh, yeah, peace and love.